Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can use skeleton text inside of the Ionic 4 application for the perceived performance. So let's start by creating a new Ionic project. So we can type Ionic start, then the name of the application and I will name it my app. And then we have to specify the template. I will be using the tabs template so we can specify tabs. And after that we can specify the type of project we want to use. I will be using Angular in my case so we can specify type equal to Angular. And then we can press enter and now this will go ahead and create a new Ionic project. And it is installing the dependencies now. So it might take some time so I will be back when it finishes. Now the project is created successfully so we can open the project inside of the code editor. I am using Visual Studio code here so now what we can do is we can run the project by opening the integrated terminal inside of VS code and then we can type ionic serve. So now this will go ahead and build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside the browser. So this is how the default INU project with the tabs template looks like. So now we can close the terminal here and then we can go to source, app, tab and then tab1.page.html and here we can remove everything inside of the iron content tag and let's replace it with tab1 content for now. So now we can save it. And here in the browser, we can see the change that we have just made. Now we can also open the developer tools by clicking F12. And then we can click on this toggle device toolbar. And here we can select any device. So I am selecting pixel 2 here. Now we can start by creating a new ionic card component here. So we can add ion card. We need to remove that last tag and then after that we can add ion card header. Inside of ion card header we have ion card subtitle and here we can add card subtitle or any text and next we can add ion card title. And outside of Ionic card header, we can also add Ion card content. And here we can add lorem text. Alright. So now we can save it. And here in the browser, we can see that card component we have just added. Now we can use ng4 inside of Ion card to repeat that card component multiple number of times. So we can add ng4. And then we can say let item of array dot constructor method and inside of that we can specify 20 all right so this will repeat our iron card component 20 times and now inside of browser you can see we have our iron card component repeated multiple times or 20 times to be exact now to use skeleton text what we can do is we can first wrap our iron card component inside of div and then we can actually copy paste this code and let's comment the above code for now and we will replace this code with the iron skeleton text so what we can do is instead of card subtitle we can add iron skeleton text and here we can specify the property animated and after that we can specify style and inside of here we can specify the width so let's make it 30 percent all right and we will copy that and paste it inside of card title 
and now we will make it a width 50 percent all right and let's paste it inside of iron content also maybe a couple of times more and we will make it 100 percent width so we won't be adding that and this one too and let's make the third line of width 30 percent so we can save it now now in the browser we can see the above two lines represent our header and then the bottom three lines represent the content so we can actually add a couple of more lines in the content so let's add it first so we can actually duplicate these lines like this now this looks much better now we have to add the logic for when to show this dummy component and when to show the actual content so for this we can go to our tab one page or ts and here we can specify a property called content loaded and initially this will be false now inside of the constructor we can add a set timeout method and here we can run a method for setting this dot content loaded equal to true and we want to run this method after three seconds so we can add 3000 so this corresponds to milliseconds now we can use this property inside of our template so we can go to tab one dot page dot html and for the first div here we can uncomment it and then we can use ng if and here we can check for if the content is loaded all right and for the bottom division we can check for if the content is not loaded so we can add not content loaded all right and now we can refresh this page so for the first three seconds it will show that the mid text or the skeleton text and after three seconds it will show our actual content